Now joining us online is Dr. Nadia Asadi from the Oman Animal and Plant Genetic Resources Center, the Minister of Higher Education Research and Innovation, who will tell us more on this forum. Dr. Nadia, good evening and thank you for joining us. Good evening and thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, I believe the forum has been held virtually. Uh, can you tell us uh, what are the potential commercial opportunities in genetic resources and uh, how could future entrepreneurs uh, capitalize on these opportunities? Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, the, the forum is a two-day online forum and the main idea behind uh, the forum is to give uh, to let people know about the opportunities of this uh, treasure trove of genetic resources we have in Oman, mm -hmm. be it plants, animals, marine or microbial species. I mean, if we look around us, we'll see that uh, these resources touch us in every possible way, be it food security, be it medicines, antibiotics, food, uh, I mean, our clothes, our furniture, and so on. So they have a huge potential. But I'm just going to touch on the themes that you uh, so well mentioned that are discussed in the Gino Business Forum 2020. Mm -hmm. So looking at food security, uh, United Nations predicts that uh, the population is going to increase to about over 9 billion in 2050. So there's going to be a lot of demand for food. Okay, we, uh, the agricultural practices are improving with technologies. We are advancing a lot, but we have native species that uh, we really have not explored to its maximum. Mm -hmm. So we hope by, by giving people uh, an opportunity to hear more about these breeds that we have or these varieties that we have or the marine species that are available in Oman, mm -hmm. people will be encouraged to go into business uh, in, uh, in the food industry. Mm -hmm. So food, uh, food flavors, uh, if you're looking at all different kinds of things, uh, meat, uh, mushrooms are coming up and uh, they a good source of protein that could be used. So the idea is that uh, from the, in the Gino Business Forum, we've uh, showcased some successful companies who have actually made businesses uh, successful using these resources. Mm -hmm. And we hope that now they can, people can learn from them and use the native species. And why we say the native species? Because they have uh, survived under the conditions of Oman. So they are tolerant to heat, drought, uh, and so with climate change, definitely they'll be of value. So if people can invest in that sector and try to use the Omani resources, we're actually indirectly conserving this. We are creating an opportunity to conserve these resources. It's a wealth that we have. Wonderful. The other areas, yeah, the other areas that uh, we can talk about, I know uh, the younger generations are into technology, mm -hmm. uh, data, and uh, the fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. So innovating in genetic resources is an opportunity there. Mm -hmm. And the forum, also in the exhibition that we have, the Genofair, we have uh, examples of uh, companies that are using drones, uh, we have remote sensing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so you're pollinating plants using drones. Before it used to be a manual right. uh, labor, now it's more technology. We can, uh, we can, there's opportunity to create apps which will allow farmers to be more efficient in their work. So sitting in his office, he's able to detect the plants and whether they need watering sensors. So again, the technology part is there to support the uh, genetic resources uh, market. So there are a lot of opportunity for commercializing on uh, genetic resources, be it hmm. it's the resource itself or a service that supports yeah. the resource. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I think I can go on and on. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll just <laughs> stop here and, Let, and I'll continue. Sure, sure. And uh, let's hope uh, that people learn and use uh, native uh, species. And of course, the technology uh, is there actually to help us in increase the uh, production at the same time. But now, can you tell yes. us about the Gino Business and uh, E-Forum um, 2020, which consists of two parts, uh, the Gino Talks and Gino Fair. And what is the role of the Gino Fair then in this case? Yeah, th yeah, sure. The Gino, Gino Business Forum actually idea came uh, in 2018 when we started Gino Business was mainly to showcase opportunities in genetic resources. So we brought international experts in different areas. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have another program called Manasa, which is actually an idea on 48 hours. The young talents go in as, uh, for 48 hours and come up with ideas of using genetic resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From those uh, teams, we selected four winning teams, and those were incubated in Sultan Qaboos University Innovation Center and uh, the Oman Academy for SME as an accelerator. Mm -hmm. Now they've reached a point where they have their prototype 
prototypes. And we thought, okay, this is a good platform to provide them to be able to showcase their ideas. So we came up with the Geno Business Forum 2020 divided into two parts. One is the Geno Talks, which we're looking at distinguished speakers mm -hmm. talking about this, uh, the areas that are opportunities in uh, genetic resources mm -hmm. and also some success stories. People are Geno heroes, people who are successful uh, in uh, using genetic resources in, in different ways, in novel ways sometimes. <laughs> and then we have the Geno Fair, which is the second part. It's like an exhibition. Unfortunately, we were not able to have a physical exhibition, so we went virtual, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's almost like the exhibition where you walk into, you go into a hall and you can select the theme that you want to go into. Mm -hmm. When you select the theme, in the theme, you'll see that up, one successful company that's already in Oman and the, uh, three up-and-coming uh, student yes. companies that actually sure. have come up with ideas, and some of them also have... Prototypes right, right. and some right. even products yeah. that are ready for, for being commercialized or going we, into the market. We hope we'll so be able to have more of these successful uh, companies. Uh, due to the we time, we so. need actually to speed up. So if we can just uh, uh, highlight on the remaining questions that we have. Uh, one of the themes of the forum is innovative Oman genetic resources. What does uh, the fourth industrial revolution play in that, if you can mention? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So for the fourth industrial revolution actually is mainly going to help in uh, producing efficiency yeah. and efficient in agriculture and fisheries. But in biotechnology, for example, where we are taking bi bi biology and uh, the marriage between uh, technology and digital world is really providing us with speed. It's mm -hmm. providing us with efficiency. Mm -hmm. it pro it's, pro it's making us global in terms of research. So I can be doing something here and discussing with somebody in America and we come up with a solution together. So uh, that's, that's the speed, the, the value of the fourth industrial revolution. So Wonderful. we need to really capitalize on that. Uh, excellent. I know we can go on and on talk about <laughs> uh, this particular area. And it looks uh, that you are very much into it. Finally, can you tell us, um, uh, according to the report, 75% of the world food is now generated from only 12 plants uh, and uh, five animals. Could you highlight the kind of uh, plants here in the Sultanate of Oman and uh, also the type of animals that we have? Yeah, uh, definitely. The, the, that's very uh, uh, scary that we are relying on a few species only for our food, for our food basket. But fortunately, in our mind, we have over 1,400 species of plants and over 1,000 species marine species and uh, more than 10 types of animals. So we 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 have a diversity, a huge diversity of species. So, but in because in, in, in we other are, way, we are rich uh, with this kind of species. Then, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. But unfortunately, some of them are underutilized, and uh, we need to explore those as well. Then this kind of um, uh, uh, forum is actually to discover those uh, areas that needs to be really uh, worked on it. And I hope uh, that you will be able to come up with uh, uh, ideas on how to push on and be able to benefit from this kind of uh, species and plants that we have. Uh, of course, we know that uh, there are a lot of things, even plants, uh, that, uh, which are used for medicine. But uh, due to time, we cannot actually discuss those kind of things. Uh, yes, Oman <laughs> Animal and Plant Genetic Resources uh, Center at the Minister of Higher Education, Research and Innovation is working towards promoting the recognition, sustainable exploitation and valuation of the genetic diversity inherent in Oman's animal plants and microorganisms as a natural heritage resources is one of the greatest uh, mission. We wish you all the best on this important venture. Dr. Nadia, uh, it was very nice having you here. Uh, great having you shedding light on this forum. Once again, thank you for joining Oman Television. Uh, thank you very much, and I really wanted to thank our sponsor, um, uh, Suhara Aluminium, and all our strategic partners and speakers. They did an excellent job. Thank you very Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Thank you very much.